नमस्ते एवरीवन माय नेम इज श्रीकांत रंगर वेलकम टू आवर चैनल एकेडमेट वेयर वी गिव लाइफ टू एजुकेशन यूजिंग टेक्नोलॉजीज इन दिस वीडियो सीरीज वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट इनवोल्यूट्स एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी ड्राइंग एन इनवोल्यूट फॉर अ स्क्वायर क्रॉस सेक्शन सो लेट अस बिगिन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ऑफ कोर्स यू विल नीड द टेम्पलेट फाइल आई हैव डिस्क्राइब्ड हाउ टू डाउनलोड द टेम्पलेट फाइल इन माय प्रीवियस वीडियो लिंक टू दैट आई हैव गिवन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बिलो यू कैन टेक इट फ्रॉम देयर I have kept that template file on my desktop so that whenever I want to start it, I can just double click on it, and it will start up in AutoCAD. So let us look at the question. So we have to draw an involute for one complete unwinding and winding of 10 centimeter string on the square of sides 30 mm. You have to also draw tangent and normals to this curve at 100 mm from the center of the square. So you can see here this is the completed uh, solution. and the same we have to draw it let's begin so this is the file is started with the template file so the first part is to draw the square now of course you can use the line command with ortho to completely get the square but i will be using the command of polygon which is much more easier so i just have to type p o l enter and number of sides 4 enter then instead of going for center of polygon i have to choose the edge method from the command line you can also right click and choose edge from this menu that appears now you have to click somewhere on the screen and then we have to feed the distance for the edge of this square now because ortho is on i'm getting horizontal line only if ortho is set to off that this is rotating the way i want let us turn on the ortho and feed the distance of the edges which is 30 So type 30 from the keyboard and it will draw a square of 30 mm side each. Now as soon as I have drawn this square using the polygon command, you have to, you have to explode it. So select the polygon, press X, enter, and that will explode the polygon into separate segments. Now we have to use circle command C enter. to start drawing the involute we will start with this point over here so this point becomes the center we have to click it up to this point next we have to press e x double into and then click on this line here after that we have to keep the shift button on the keyboard pressed and click on the parts of the circles which we don't need next again we have to take circle command center point here passing through this point again e x double enter click on this edge keeping the key shift on the keyboard pressed i have to click on parts of the circle which we don't need continue doing the same c enter center point passing through this point e x double enter click on this edge press shift and click here once again c enter click on this point as center passing through this point e x double enter click on this edge press shift and click here so you can see for one complete unwinding we have created the involute after doing this we have to apply the rightful properties to this so you match properties command m a enter select the construction lines and all these lines have to be thin because they are just meant for construction now if you go back and look at the question we have to also draw tangent and normal to this curve at 100 mm from the centroid of the square so first of all we have to find centroid of the square that is very easy we just have to give line command this point to this point and this point to this point the intersection of the diagonals will give us centroid of course these are also construction lines so i will match properties of construction lines with these lines if you want these to be construction lines by default select the zero layer here and now onwards whatever lines you create will be construction lines to begin with so let's go ahead with the tangent and normal so take circle from the intersection point of diagonals draw a circle of radius 100 mm 
that is intersecting with the involute at this point here. Now this arc has center point here. So take a line command starting here to the point where we want tangent and normal. You have to join this line. Then select the line, pick it from the midpoint, keep it here. So this line is our normal. Then we will give rotate command, RO enter, click at this intersection point and then right click, choose copy and then click at 90 degrees. You can also feed 90 degrees from the keyboard. When you do that, the normal and the tangent will be created here. Match properties of the solid with tangent and the normal. The work of this circle of course is over so you can delete it. Next we have to also do winding of involute for a length of 10 cm string. So Once again we will have to take line command and the length of string which is 10 cm. So here while feeding we will be feeding in mm so it becomes 100 mm. So that 100 mm line is coming here. Let me show it. And this is where we will start the winding. So once again start with the circle. This time we have to start from the outside. For unwinding we had started with inside. For winding we have to start with outside. So take a circle up to that point. Then use trim command tr double into to remove the parts which you don't need. Extra parts you have to delete it separately. So this is the arc we have drawn. Now the center will shift here. Continue this again tr double into remove the parts which you don't want. Erase the extra parts. Continue it from the next point. Again, tr double enter, remove the parts which you don't need. Again, circle from here. Again, tr double enter, remove the parts which you don't need. Erase the extra parts. Once again, apply the match properties of the solid to all these curves. And once again, for this involute as well, we have to draw the tangent and normal at 100 mm distance from the centroid of course. So take a circle from the centroid, draw radius of 100. At this intersection point, we need the tangent and normal. So draw a line from the center of this arc to the intersection point. Move this midpoint here. Give rotate command about this point. Don't forget to right click and choose copy before you feed the angle of 90. So again you can see the normal and the tangent have been created. Use match properties again to apply solid to both these. Circle work is over you can remove again again. So this here is the complete solved problem of an involute of square cross section for winding as well as unwinding. Thank you for watching this video. If you like our video, of course, hit that like button, share it with your friends and of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for further such videos. Thank you.